absolutely covered in mask. All right, so the H40 thing didn't work out, so I'm turning it into a clean H40. How about that? Hmm? You like that? I bet you do. protect my eyes from all the flying debris but we're almost done almost a completely clean H40 and I've actually dremeled away the cracks I'm not going to seal the I'm not going to cover the cracks in like copy decks or latex any of that stuff if I do decide to sell this it's not going to be cheap because I've been working on this like a dickhead for a whole day but it might look so good in the end that I might keep it but if I do sell it, it's going to cost you. But if I was shouting before, I apologise, I had earplugs in because the Dremel I have is from like 1983 and it's very loud and not really appropriate for this work. But because I'm using this, look how, look how much, look at, that's what, that's how much stuff has come off the mask and that, I've had to do that like five times. It's ridiculous. But this is from Woolworths, Woolworths Workshop. That's going back, you can't hold it like a pen, it's a gun. I only just realized there's this little left and right on the back and you can speed up or slow down the Dremel. I didn't know that, now I do. God, it's in my eyes. Oh. Zorro. Yeah, so literally, just a heads up, and I don't mind because, like I said, if this doesn't sell, I am quite happy to keep this because I don't have a clean H40 flashback mask from Panoing Kills. But after all the work that's gone into this, and all the stress, and all the mess, believe me, you have no idea. Oh god, I'm covered in it. It's all stuck to my arm here. Ow. Ow. Ugh. But yeah, no, if I do sell it, it's not going for any less than 300 quid. The work that's gone into this is insane. I haven't even started the paint with the hair yet, but just the dremeling the cracks away, dremeling the paint off. I've been here since 3.30 a.m. in the morning. It's now about half 12 or something but yeah i've been at this for a long long time had a little break watched a bit of uh, something's got to give on netflix jack nicholson hadn't seen that before i've only halfway through but it seems all right um not quite as good as as good as it gets but it's all right Okay everyone, it's the next day. So I spent 17 hours on this yesterday, 17 hours, or maybe just over that. I got up at 3 a.m. and I started working. I didn't go to bed until about 9, 9.30. I stopped to have like two cups of tea and a little bit of dinner, but basically all morning, all day, and all evening I was working on this mask. So, I re-haired it with, um, with Tot's hair, because I really do like the 2018 hair, but it's been completely re-haired and I've done an amazing job on that if I do say so myself it just looks really really good you can see there 
You know how tots, if you're familiar with how they kind of layer the hair, they do like one layer of hair, then quite a big gap, then another layer, then quite a big gap. There's no gaps. You know, there's none. I just I went all the way through and you've got a really, really good hair job here. It took friggin' ages. <laughs> it really took a long time, but it was worth it. Absolutely worth it. So I'm really, really happy with the hair on this and you would be too if you decide to buy it. However, if nobody buys this, and I know someone will, but I, I really kind of hope no one does because I wouldn't mind keeping this in my collection. I used to have uh, the H40s, or sorry, the uh, Halloween Kills flashback mask that I did about a year and a bit ago. Uh, this one's better by a long way. But I remember when I finished that clean version of the H40 last time, I wanted to keep it. Um, it's just incredible. It looks really creepy. I'm going to do the... Uh, punch a wound in his neck because I, at the time of me filming this video Halloween Kills has not come out yet It's like September 16th 17th something like that at the moment So a little ways to go before the film is released But we do know there's a flashback scene and I think we get to see a scene where Michael's chasing after Tommy the little boy And also I think we get to see a younger version of Hawkins from Halloween 2018 Apprehend and arrest Michael Myers and at that point he would have the puncture wound in his neck from where Laurie stabbed him with the knitting needle. Last time I wanted to get a clean H40 look, last time I did one of these, I used copy Dex paint to fill in the cracks and then I painted over that. So this time I've actually dremeled away and smoothed the whole mask so there's no cracks and wrinkles on the mask anymore. They haven't been filled in with glue, they're just not there because I've dremeled them away and removed them. Which did make the, the actual Tots mask a bit thinner. Uh, but once I applied the paint, uh, it got, you know, it thickened it up again, so it's kind of back to normal. But this is a very unique, special mask, folks. So I'm going to get to work now on finishing it off, and I'll see you again soon. All right, I've done the knitting needle puncher mark, or opening, wound, whatever you want to call it. I've done that. So now it's going to be fun. The only thing left to do now is blood work around that knitting needle, just subtle. And then the weathering of the mask, which I'm not going to go too heavy handed with. Just a little bit, tip of the nose, a bit on the lips, a bit on the eyebrows, in the corners of the uh, inner corners of the eye. Don't want to do, I'm not going to do like a black wash on it. Because remember, it was just a white mask, it was the shadows that were doing the work in the 78 movie. I mean, yeah, it got a little bit weathered as they were taking it on and off all the time, but I don't want to go too heavy with it. I like this stark white look. So a little bit of weathering here and there, a bit of blood work, maybe a bit of discoloration on the neckline might do that too. I mean, technically he should have the 78 coveralls on because it's the flashback. Oh, this looks awesome already. badass okay I can't tell you how difficult it was to make this <laughs> so here we go it is the flashback mask on my life-size mannequin hair looks excellent you know the hair when it's done well you know because you don't have to keep messing with it I literally I barely touch it I mean I just gave him a little bit of a poof at the front there but it looks incredible I've got a bit of a blue hue on the camera setting here to just to give it a bit of that 78 vibe. I'll show you some just regular normal filming in a minute. Just wanted to start with a bit of a blue hue. Look at that. Yeah. 78 flashback. Achieved once more. Look at that, man. Very, very cool. Nice and smooth. Very creepy. So, I will do one more video showing this mask alongside the other two from the new trilogy. See how they all look together. The H40, the Halloween Kills, and this flashback mask from Halloween Kills also. Alright, and just back to regular, normal camera setting, just the regular lighting in the room here. This is pretty much exactly how it looks in the room. 
If you've enjoyed this video, drop a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Plenty more coming. Got some really good reviews coming up thanks to incredible people in the community. Two people have come through for me. I'm going to shout them out when the time comes with the video. But I've got Hot Toys Venom coming to review. And the Sideshow Michael Myers figure. Which is something I've wanted to get my hands on to do a review and a comparison between the Tots figure. That's coming soon as well. So make sure you keep it locked. Thank you to the amazing people of the community who made that happen. Thank you for watching everybody and drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Dean Knight333. Free, free, free. Plenty of pictures and behind the scenes little clips going up on Instagram. So definitely follow me on there. All right. Stick around for the rotating base footage now. And I'll see you real soon. Take it easy. Bye bye.